The team at Dungarees know the hardest workers pack the biggest appetites. They've teamed up with me, Chef Jonathan Collins from The Outdoor Chef, to bring you simple, handcrafted recipes for hardworking men and women. Whether you're hosting the big game or cooking for an entire campsite, maybe you're cooking something that you've recently hunted or firing up the barbecue in the backyard, we've got recipes that hungry people will love to cook and eat. Is there anything better than preparing a recipe using ingredients from your own hunt? Wild Game often gets a reputation for being gamey and wild flavored, but the techniques I'm gonna show you today in this recipe will make it palatable and your guests are going to love it. I hope you enjoy. In front of me, I have a beautiful mule deer roast. Now this was frozen and I was able to thaw it in the sink using cold running water, or you can do it at home a couple days before in your refrigerator. Never thaw a roast on top of the counter or in warm water. You wanna keep it food safe. The next step is I have to remove any of the silver skin. So this roast is from the hind quarter and any of the silver skin is what separates the muscles. It's gotta come off because it won't cook down and it sure won't taste good. With a full head of garlic peeled, I wanna show you one of the things with garlic. Sometimes you get garlic that's sprouted. If you do, take and slice that garlic in half. You'll see on the inside that little sprout, and all you need to do is just remove that sprout. Don't leave that in the recipe. Now, with these sliced in half, what I can do is I take a, a paring knife, and in an organized fashion, just make a deep slit and then pass a piece of garlic right inside. And what will happen is as that cooks, the proteins will lock back up. And as you're slicing through this roast, you'll get this gorgeous roast garlic flavor through the whole thing. With my roast stuff, the next step is to get the herb crust ready. It's gonna be a ton of flavor. But what I have to do first is add just a little bit of oil to the bottom of the pan put my roast inside the pan and make sure that I've got a really nice coating on the bottom. Then a little drizzle across the top and some seasoning. So just a little bit of flake sea salt. Remember that the roast is really thick. So you wanna make sure to get plenty on there. Some black pepper. Now I'll set this aside and prep my herb crust. With my herb crust brought together into a nice paste, the only thing I want is I want a little roasted garlic. So what I'm gonna do is take off one third of the top of this head, tuck it inside, and then a little bit of olive oil on top and season it with a bit of salt. This will dry out any of the liquid, roasting it, and in the same time that I get this beautiful roast done, I'll also have roasted garlic. To the top of the roast, I wanna add a little bit of lemon. So that lemon zest is gonna bring some real brightness. It's based in oil, that lemon oil. So even though I'm roasting it, it's still gonna stand up to the heat and bring some freshness to this beautiful dish. The last thing I have to do is to put on this beautiful herb crust. So I literally put it on and then what you want is a firm coat all the way around. So I'm not gonna do any on the bottom, but I wanna make sure I coat to all sides.
With my roast ready to go in the oven, you'll notice that I put some mushrooms in there. They're gonna soak up any of that incredible flavor. I've got the oven preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and it's ready to go in. In less than an hour, I've got a perfectly cooked mule deer roast. Now I've used the instant read probe thermometer to check the internal temperature and I pulled it out at 130 degrees. You just simply slide that in at the deepest part, the thickest part to make sure you get an accurate reading. The mushrooms are roasted, the garlic is ready to go. I want to make a quick mention. If you like a little bit of extra heat, the time to add this is just before roasting. You can add a little bit of red or green chili, jalapeno, whatever your favorite heat is. Now you're going to want to cut into this roast right away, but one of the things you have to do is you have to rest the roast. Rest it for about one third the cooking time and rest it uncovered. If I cover it at this time, that topping, that beautiful herb crust, it's going to get moist and softened and I want it to remain crisp and beautifully fragrant. Enjoy. Thanks for checking out this recipe. You can download a printable version of the full recipe by going to dungarees.com backslash recipes. And don't forget to check out the other recipes in this delicious series. Until then, remember, in the kitchen, slow is smooth and smooth is fast.